last year I did a lot of research on food plots. I really wanted some kind of uh, perennial plant to help bring in the deer and the wildlife. And as I was reading about uh, different plants for deer, I kept kept coming up with uh, chestnut trees. Yeah, and uh, one of them that kept coming up was this Dunstan chestnut, which is a blight resistant American chestnut. It's basically, I think about seven, one, 17th Chinese or 118th Chinese and the rest is American. So it's a it's a slight Chinese hybrid um, and they sell these trees and they sell them for quite a bit of money. I mean you're talking $20 a tree or something maybe even more in some places for these chestnut trees. So I really wanted to plant a lot of these trees and it kind of becomes a problematic when you don't want to spend that much money. So I, I ended up discovering John over at Lake Erie Chestnuts. I'll put a link to his channel below. He has been growing his own chestnuts from seed and he's planting his own chestnut orchard. And um, so he goes through uh, a lot of videos on how he germinates the seeds and takes care of the trees as they grow. So after following his channel, I decided to it, try to do this on my own. So what I did is I ended up buying some chestnut tree seeds that are supposed to be Dunstan chestnuts from Pike County, Illinois, Chestnut Ridge, uh, out there in Pike County, Illinois. I bought two pounds of seeds. Now their seeds, what happens is when they start selling chestnuts, the seeds they sell are kind of toward the end of the season, kind of the late falling chestnuts. And that's what I ended up buying. So I ended up with 71 seeds. I took those and I put them in two coffee cans and I layered them in the coffee cans with some potting soil mix. And then I put those seeds in the refrigerator. Now I did this in the fall last, last fall. Now these seeds sat all winter long. They may have been in the refrigerator for, for maybe close to four months. And, um, and then after that time period, I started taking them out and checking them, uh, looking for seeds with uh, tap roots, where the, the root starts emerging from the seed. And then I would take those seeds and I would take them out and I would plant them. And then I would relayer the seeds, put them back in the refrigerator and wait a few more weeks and try again. Now, one thing you're gonna run into that I ran into is you run into these seeds that have fungus on them, like this white fungus, and it causes all the potting soil to just kind of ball up onto it, so it looks like this big glob. Now, I tried cleaning some of those up and getting the fungus off of them and tried planting them. I had zero germination of any of the seeds with fungus on them. So, that's basically the same thing that John said. If you find them with fungus, just throw them away. Um, but I, I decided to try it out and yeah, you might as well just throw those, those seeds away. So now when it's all done and said, I started out with 71 seeds and I ended, I'm ending up somewhere close to 40 trees. Um, right now, I still have some that have tap roots that you can tell are going down in the soil, but I still have no upward growth on some. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see um, what truly ends up happening. But uh, right now, I'm somewhere close to 40 trees is what it's going to look like. So it's a little over 50% germination rate for me, or right around there. So I'm planning on taking these chestnut trees. I'm going to plant them on the east side of my property. And they're going to be kind of a permanent food plot for deer, trying to attract all the deer in the area. And hopefully, I'll be the only food source of chestnuts in the area. So hopefully, the deer will seek out my property just for that. So hoping that these trees grow in the clay soil. I may lose another 50% uh, just in growing them in the soil. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we may plant some this spring or this summer. I'll probably wait to the fall and uh, get these planted. I'll just go ahead and let them get larger in the pots until then. So look for another video maybe in the fall when I try to plant these trees. And if you're interested in trying to do this, Go over and see John over at Lake Erie Chestnuts. Uh, a couple things I did differently than John is he uses peat moss instead of potting soil. He says it has some antifungal properties, so he may have less loss due to fungus. And then I just ordered their chestnut 
seeds that they have at the end of the season, and he doesn't do that. He uh, he orders the extra large chestnuts, and he just takes the regular extra large chestnuts and uses them for seed. So he may have a better germination rate with the larger seed and the earlier seed or the earlier nuts, you know, from the season. So, but uh, check him out if you're interested in doing this. Hopefully, this is going to work out for me. And I think I only got about. I, I seriously only got 20 or 30 bucks in this. So this is like way cheaper than buying maybe two trees from these Dunstan chestnuts. So wish me luck. Hopefully it works out. Thanks for watching.